This is a short video about long and wide formats of data in R. So basically in this video we will see how we can convert our data from long to wide format or wide to long format in a short period of time. So basically for this purpose I will install my library Recep2. So let me use this library and data I am using the empty cars data. This data set is inbuilt in R so you do not need to install it from anywhere. Let me show you the data set. So here I have the cars and here I have their displacement miles per gallon, horsepower, carb, uh, carb, gear and all those details. So this is a wide data format. Basically we have uh, all the variable names and their observations as in the row. So now what wide does or what uh, long does, so first we will look at the long. So wh what the long does, it basically stacks all your columns as a uh, in a single column. So basically all these columns, MPG, uh, cylinder, displacement, will be stacked as a variable in a single column and their observation will be placed sidewise. So let me do that and then I will show you. Now why do you need that? Actually there are certain uh, regions when you would like to do that. Uh, basically uh, let us say you want to uh, you want to plot a box plot or you want to do an ANOVA analysis. So these are basically a uh, few areas where you would like to look at your data as in, uh, in a long format. So let me convert it in long format and I will use the command melt from the library's reshape to here I will provide my data as id dot wires uh, which variables basically do I want to retain so let me just first run this and probably then it will make sense for you so now if I show you then you see that uh, as I mentioned in my formula I have my data mpg uh, cylinder intact here while the other variables or other columns are stacked over one another one other so you see that now I have displacement, HP and their observations uh, in this value field. So basically it can be very useful while you want to do some plotting or analysis of these variables or uh, these are basically a uh, single column. So let us say if you play, uh, uh, plot a histogram of this variable and uh, you pass as a Y value as the value. So basically you will get the plots or the bar or whiskers for every each of these uh, variables as displacement HP and so and so on so these will be very helpful for you and similarly at the same time we retain our MPG and cylinder so you can take a look that for of this car which is 24.4 MPG and four cylinder and there the displacement is uh, uh, 146 similarly you can check out all these other variables for this car uh, 21 the weight is uh, 2.620 so this is basically a technique which you will find handy when you are doing analysis of ANOVA or any kind of that so let me print the head also and similarly uh, basically this is the long format as I have used the melt command here now let us say you say that I do want to revert it back to the uh, my white format so for that purpose you can use the for, uh, command decast and here I have written cars wide underscore format. This is basically my data frame name. So now what you will have to do that you will first have to provide your data frame name or the uh, data in the long format. And then you will have to first specify that which columns do you have there. So I have MPG plus cylinder. And a part of that I have this variable, uh, this uh, variable which is basically my melted variable as variable. So the name you can see here is variable. So I will have to write my command here. So now if you see here now then you can see that my data now is in wide format. Now one more thing guys uh, let me do one more thing. Uh, let us say that you say that I do not want uh, I want to melt com my complete data set. So for that purpose also what you can do is basically you need not to provide this ID wires. So you say that I want to stack my data completely or melt my data completely. I do not want any any uh, columns to retain. So in that format, what you can do that uh, you can uh, simply do not provide any data as ID dot where. So now what it will do that let me show you the cars uh, melt to. Now you see that it has melted my complete data frame. And similarly, you can just uh, make it back in the uh, make it uh, back to the white format as I displayed you. So I hopefully think that this video will be helpful for you and it is a short video about it. I would recommend you to please do check out my uh, video series on R programming. I am adding new videos, to, new videos to it also. Okay. So surely uh, please do like this video and subscribe my channel and I will see you in another video. Thank you.